Good evening, fellow judges, fellow cadets, and Toastmasters. Before I go into my speech, let me ask you a question. Have you ever thought about what lessons you have learned from the COVID-19 pandemic? Let's pause and take a minute to reflect on our actions and experiences. Some of you might think that COVID is really bad and it affected us in a lot of places. Guess what? You're not wrong. But I have heard many complaints about COVID. Take a moment to think about the lessons and things you have learned. Take the time to appreciate things and not always complaining about how you can't do this or you can't do that. It won't get any better, trust me. We all know that some of us are stressed during this difficult time and we can't meet our friends. At the beginning of COVID, everyone was so calm in my family. I didn't know what was going on and I had a lot of fun just talking to my parents. But my parents told me that, Coco, do not stop talking about this. It's really important and you, you must, must listen to me. During the difficult months, some resources were all sold out. I still remember the time. It was really difficult to get toilet paper rolls. Everyone was panicking and didn't really know what, what the next steps were. But I don't understand why you need them. I also felt I lost the feeling of meeting people in person. Since we were doing online school, we didn't have the opportunity to meet our friends in person and talk to our teachers in person for help. On the positive side, I think that there are three things that I learned. Number one, I have learned during this COVID-19 pandemic to spend more time with my family. I learned to be more patient and learn to do everything online. At the start of COVID-19 pandemic, I didn't really know what was going on. I wasn't scared again. I thought this was a serious situation. But as we moved on, I understood the situation and started to adapt. The first lesson I learned was spending more time with my family. During regular school time, I would rush there and there, and I didn't even have time to just sit with my parents and with my family for five minutes to chat about something. And during online school, I went to my parents whenever I have a break. And this gives me time to relax and not stare at my screen for 10 hours in a row. COVID also taught me how to be patient. To me, Patience is a very important skill to learn. Before COVID, I didn't really know anything about how to be patient and kind of just rushed everything through every day. Every day, my younger brother would scream at me for unplugging the Wi-Fi. Well, you might think, why? Because our Wi-Fi is super slow. And sometimes if you unplug it and plug it in, it will become better. During COVID, it really taught me how to be patient from practicing to waiting for teachers to let me into the Zoom room, and then waiting for people to respond to messages when in a hurry. Patience is essential to daily life. Lastly, COVID also taught me how to do everything online and the uses of different platforms. As we all know, sometimes classes might be on Zoom, it might be on Microsoft Teams, and all of those platforms. I found myself more organized as everything was online. And sometimes, again, the platforms would change, so I would have to learn how to adapt. Of course, I did encounter problems, but at the end, I learned what it is needed. For example, I know that Zoom is only for conferences. And when I had seen classes on Zoom, I had to turn on the original sound as that way my voice won't cut out. But at first, I went into the Zoom meeting without even doing that. And my teacher said, 
Your voice is so quiet, I cannot hear you. From that time, I got so worried, I panicked, and I tried to find everything I could do. Is there something wrong with my computer? Is there something wrong with my laptop? Just from that one simple experience, I knew how Zoom worked and everything was clear to me. I encourage you to reflect back on what COVID-19 pandemic has affected you. There's no right or wrong answer, but take the time to reflect. Again, think about others whose life is much worse than you. We really can't control that, but think positively. Spend time with your family and take a break when you need it. There are things that you learned and there are still new discoveries that could happen, even though we are in a pandemic. Back to you.